Are you open to looking at your business differently? Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to the Orange Office in Grants Pass, Oregon. You can see the uh, orange color right back here behind the tree. This is Brian J. Pombo Live. And today we are gonna re-talk about, is that a word, re-talk? We are gonna re-bring up the topic of the founder. The founder, that movie that came out a couple years ago with Michael Keaton as Ray Kroc, the uh, innovator behind the current day McDonald's, McDonald's restaurants. Are you open to changing your business? That's a real, that's a pretty heavy question. And if you happen to be a business owner or an executive in the self-reliance field, meaning you have products, services, a storyline that overall encourages people to become more self-reliant, you're someone I'd like to talk to, go to dreambizchat.com. At dreambizchat.com, there's a quick little video there, eight and a half minutes, watch it. Let me know what you think. If you feel like it applies to you, then fill out that quick little application right underneath, underneath and uh, we'll set up a time to be able to talk to each other. Normally I charge $600 and above for consultations, but this one's completely free on the house because I wanna find out more about you and what you do. So go to dreambizchat.com. The link is in the description, depending on where you're at, that might be a live link or not, but it's dreambizchat.com. Now, back to the founder, the concept of being open has to do with dream biz chat as far as where you're at, but it, it, there's also a bigger question that comes up in this movie. And it's regardless of whether you are, uh, it's regardless of whether you consider Ray Kroc the hero or the villain in the story, that's, that's irregardless. No doubt Ray Kroc took a business that was already successful and made it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times more successful with the method that he took it through. Now, partially on accident, partially on just a little bit of extra vision that the McDonald brothers didn't initially had, he saw that there was an opportunity to franchise it beyond where it had already gone. I believe they had a handful of, maybe up to eight or so restaurants already. Uh, and he saw that it could be taken a lot further. There's no reason why it shouldn't be in every town in America. And so he saw a vision. They didn't see that vision. They weren't open to that vision. Eventually he had everything wrapped up for good or for bad, for through honest politics or not. He had everything wrapped up where he owned the land underneath each of those McDonald's restaurants and to this day the McDonald's corporation still owns the land and that's where a majority of their value and wealth comes from not from the selling of the hamburger so he he had a vision he, he had people around him that were able to take his vision even further most of the things that we think about when we think about McDonald's the Big Mac the Egg McMuffin some of the best sandwiches there if if you could call it food <laughs> if the best stuff there were invented by other people. They had nothing to do with Ray Kroc. All he did is he knew the things that needed to happen and got ideas from other people or what have you and then executed it. The McDonald brothers, Maurice and Richard, I believe it was, they did not see the vision. If they would have seen the vision, they would have sat quietly <laughs> and waited for the big checks to start rolling in. Instead, they took a buyout. They took an early buyout. They were bitter over it afterwards because they thought they were kind of uh, tricked into selling out, but they sold out and took the money and went with it, the million dollars or whatever a piece that they got for their end of McDonald's, which at that time was a lot more money than it is now. But they did not see the long-term passive income vision of Ray Kroc. The question is, if somebody came to you and suggested taking your business in a slightly different direction, not changing it, but adjusting it to have a different vision, adjusting it to focus in a different area, would you have enough vision, enough clarity of mind to see that 
what they're saying is possible. Just because you didn't come up with it, is that threatening to you? Do you think that there might possibly be a different thing that could be done to your business that would completely change it? I know for a fact that my business is always added to when I'm surrounded by the right people. So the people who I'm, I'm always trying to surround myself with, they encourage, they encourage the good thoughts out of me, but also I, I attempt to sit back and really take in their ideas for my business. Now, most of the time I, I disagree with them because I don't think they get the idea of what my vision is. And I think you're the same way. I would bet you're the same way if you've already have a successful business, it doesn't mean it can't be successful on a whole nother level. And you have to ask yourself whether that's something you want or whether that's something you'd be willing to stick around for or if you would rather just sell your business off, take the money and run and let someone else make billions <laughs> off of it in the long run. Something to consider. It's something you seriously should consider and think about. Go, go back and watch that movie if you haven't seen it yet, and if you have, rewatch it. The Founder. It's a very good movie. Like I said, not all the facts are completely correct in it, but if you can get some of the principles out of it, I think, I think you'll, uh, you'll find it's pretty good. I, tomorrow, I've got one more. I got one more principle. I mean, I could go on forever for that movie because it's got so many little nuggets. But there's another principle I really want to point out in there that I think will add to our discussion. If you'd like to continue this discussion and see how it applies to your business, go to dreambizchat.com. Otherwise, we will see you here tomorrow. So get out there. Let the magic happen, huh?